Hi everyone, it's time for Family Devotions with Pastor Karen. I hope you're having a good day today. I've been having a frustrating day today. I've been working really hard on some things on my computer that I needed to get printed and done and deadlines met. And every time I hit print, nothing happened. And I kept working and I, a couple of documents I had to start all over again and start again because it didn't save. And I just couldn't figure out what was going on. And finally, I went to the diagnostics on my computer and discovered that uh, there was a disconnection somewhere between my computer and the printer, which is right back here in our pastoral suite. And for some reason, the command to print wasn't making it to the printer. And uh, so nothing was coming out and I wasn't able to produce what I needed to do. Have you ever had that happen? I'm sure you have if you've ever worked on a computer and a printer. And um, so I followed the advice of the helpline and powered down the printer. That means turn it off, disconnect it from all that busy work that you're asking it to do and let it get a reset. And as soon as I did that, I turned off the machine. I powered it down. I let it rest for a few minutes and then I powered it back up. I turned it back on and lo and behold, there's a whole stack of things that have printed out that I had been waiting for all day long. I think that's what we need to do in our own work and spiritual and family life too sometimes. We need to power down. When we are not clearly getting the signal from our power source and uh, it may be that we are overloaded with things to do, with busyness, with our own internal communication so that there's no more room for God's signal to get through. And when we get to those points, when we're frustrated, when we're low on energy, when we're empty, when we don't have a good source of spiritual energy to keep us going or keep us guided in the right direction, when we need to hear a word from God and we're just not hearing it, that's the time for us to power down, to just turn off for a few moments, maybe sometimes even longer, maybe for a day, a weekend, a week, to power down and disconnect from all those messages that have just crowded our inbox at work, that have crowded our minds at home, that have crowded our hearts so that there's no room for the deeper connection with God to work. When we do that, what I wonder how you power down. It might just be some deep breathing. Someone recently taught me a great way to do that, and it's called the box prayer. Think of a four-sided box. And so for four counts, you breathe in slowly. And then for four counts, you hold that breath. And then for four counts, you let the breath out. And then you wait four counts. And you do that a few times and it allows your body, it allows that breath to fully come into your body and give you new oxygen and energy. It allows stress that your body had been holding to be breathed out and to be let go of. And it's ama an amazing technique. Just a few times repeated, uh, maybe four times, you repeat that four and four and four and four. And it's amazing how that helps you sleep better. It helps you, your body let go of tension. And it allows your mind and your spirit to power down in a way that maybe allows God some room to work within you. There are lots of other ways to power down. It may be taking a walk on a beautiful fall day. It may be uh, turning on some great music and dancing for a little bit. It may be just 
stopping and praying or reading some devotional material or scripture. It may be uh, taking a nap. Boy, that's a great way to power down. There are so many ways to disconnect from all that's trying to clutter your inbox and is messing up the communication lines between you and God. And whatever it is you need to do, take a, a break to power down when you need it. It reminds me of that wonderful story in Luke chapter 10, the two sisters, Martha and Mary, who were getting ready to welcome Jesus and the other male disciples into their home. And uh, Martha was just busy, 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 and she had a long to-do list, and she was trying so hard to get everything done and to stay on top of the tasks she had set for herself. And Jesus reminded her that Mary had chosen to power down for a few moments and to sit at the feet of Jesus and simply listen to his voice. And that was, as Jesus said, the better way. It's the better way for all of us from time to time. So I hope that as you're beginning this day or perhaps beginning a new week, that you'll remember to power down when you need to and spend some time with God this week. And may that time be a time of renewal and refreshment, new energy, and a clearer sense of what you really need to be about in this time. Let's pray together. Oh God, you are our power source and you always have a word for us, a word of peace or a word of guidance, a word of encouragement, a word of challenge, a word that shapes us and guides us and helps us know what we truly need to do. And so we thank you that you are always more eager to speak to us than we are sometimes more ready and able to hear. At those times, help us to find a good way to power down and to pull away from the tasks of the day so that we might hear you more clearly. And through hearing you, know your love for us. In Christ's name, amen. Bye, friends. See you soon.